Hello, welcome back to this episode of Math Meowtics. We're going to talk about some practice problems. And in this one, it wants us to um, write a compound inequality that represents each phrase and graph the solution. It says here in problem number one, all real numbers that are between negative 5 and 7. Let's talk about that, what that means. So if I have negative 5, then I have, let's say, uh, negative 4, and I got 0 all the way to 0, and then I have 5, and I have 6, and I have 7, okay? And if I talk about all the numbers that are between those two values, I'm only talking about from negative 4 to 6, I'm, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm all the way up to negative 5 because there's some numbers between negative 4 and negative 5 and 6 and 7. So, but I'm not including those two. So I'm not going to use my uh, symbol for equal to. So now my n, so I'm going to use the n, and it says between my value of n, my numbers are between negative 5 and 7. So I'm going to put n here in the middle because all my numbers are in between those. So n has to be greater than negative 5, and it has to be less than 7. So that's how I would graph it, just like that. Okay? Or that's how I would uh, graph, write the inequality. Now let's talk about graphing it. If we're talking about between, I'm talking about all of these numbers that are in between and not including those two values, so I would graph it there. Okay? Number 2 is done just the same. Um, so I'm not really going to cover that one. Let's talk about, I'm going to do number 3 and talk about number 5. Let me uh, erase some of this so you can see some of these values. So we can, okay, so I have some room here. Let's erase this one first and then we'll come back to that. All right, so this first one here, in terms of solving it, just like we did before, I'm going to move that negative 3 to all three sides. So then that's going to give me negative uh, 7 and less than k, less than 8 minus 3 will give us 5. Okay, so, and it says graph. So now I need to graph this. In order to graph this, I know I have k less than 5, and I have k, I need to switch my k and negative 7. When I switch, my inequality needs to go that way. So now I'm going to graph that over here. So I have negative 7 over here, I have 0, and I have 5. So then it can't equal 7, and it can't equal 5 either. All values of k are greater than negative 7, so it's going to go that way. All values of k are less than 5, so it's going to go that way. So I know all of my included area that's going to be true for both inequality is from negative 7 to 5. Now look, it's kind of, you know, we're saying between. So our values, our real numbers that we're going to be a solution to this inequality are between negative 7 and 5. Okay, now let's talk about number 5. I would love it if you would take a moment to try to do number 5 on your own and pause the video and then come back to it. All right, welcome back if you left. Um, so we have a fraction. We should know the first thing that we want to do when we have a fraction is get rid of it. So I'm going to multiply everything by 3. Okay, so that's going to become 3 times 15 less than 3 times 20 plus 11 plus k over 3 less than or equal to 19 times 3. Okay, these three cancels out. 3 times 15, I'm going to need my calculator. I think it's 45. 3 times 15. Whoops, cat. 3 times 15 is 45, yes. So 45 less than or equal to the threes cancel out, so now I'm just left with 20 plus 11 plus K less than or equal to 19 times 3 will give us 57. I have two like terms here. I have 20 and 11. So I'm going to combine those two. So that's going to give me 45 less than or equal to 31 less, oh, not less than, plus K 
okay, less than or equal to 97. Okay, now let me make this a little bit smaller, my thickness. Okay, I need to get rid of that. I want that K all by itself. So I'm gonna subtract 31, subtract 31, subtract 31. So now that's gonna give me 45 minus 31 will give me 14, less than or equal to K, less than or equal to, that is a K. 97 minus 31 will give me 66. So our values are gonna be 14 less than or equal to K and K less than or equal to 66. We're gonna graph this. Remember, I'm gonna switch this. This is gonna become K. Oh, no, I don't need to switch that, Never mind. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, what am I doing? Okay, so I'm gonna say K and 14. I'm gonna switch, so K value is greater than 14. All right, we got 14 here, we got 20, and we got 66 all the way over there. All right, it can equal 14, it can equal 66. The values of K are greater than 14, so we're talking about going that way. The values of K are less than 66, so we're talking about going that way. So we're talking about all the values that are in between. Okay? I would suggest that you try to do number 6 again, just like we just did on your own. Pause the video and then come back. All right. We're going to get rid of the fractions. I have a 4 and a 2. I want the 4 to be able to go away, so I'm going to multiply everything by 4. So that's going to be 4 times 1 over 4 less than 4 times 2x minus 7 over 2 less than 5 times 4. So now that's cancel out, so that leaves me with one on that side. Less than, this becomes two. I need to distribute that two to both terms in here. So now that's gonna become four X less than, or minus 14 less than 20. Now I still need to isolate my X, so I'm gonna get rid of this term that's adding. So now it's gonna give me 15 less than 4x less than 34. Now, I'm still not done. I know I'm not done because I have not isolated x by itself. x needs to be all alone. So I need to divide everything by 4. Okay? So that becomes 15 fourths less than x less than 34 fourths. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, I can do it as a decimal. It'd be, probably be easier in terms of graphing it. 34 divided by 4 is to put it in a decimal, so that'd be... <laughs> Cat, seriously, you goofball. So this is going to be 8.5 less than x. Less than 15 divided by 4 is 3.75. Okay, so if I'm going to graph that, now... I want you to notice something. Let's let's separate this first before we grab this. I need room. Okay, I got room now. Okay, I'm gonna break this up. So that's 3.75 less than x. And then we have x less than 8.5. So, because we're, we're not sure if this is an and or statement. So then I'm going to switch. So that's going to be x on this side and 3.75 on that side. So x is greater than 3.75 and x is less than 8.5. So let's see. We've got a number line. We have 3.75 over here and 8.5 over here. It can't equal 3.75 and it can't equal 8. X is greater than 3.5, so we're going that way. And X is less than 8.5, so we're going that way. So it's all the values in between, so this is an and statement. All right. 
I think that's a pretty good start and we'll get you started on trying to solve these problems. Um, I'm not going to do any of the ors. You're going to do the ors just the same um, because honestly they're solved the same way. It's just instead of an and statement, it's an or.